a relative of mine uh, had just come over home yesterday she just related an incident to me wherein she felt that uh, her family life was being affected by her work life how can she maintain a balance between her uh, you know professional life and her family life well she feels that she's not able to give uh, enough attention to her uh, family or to her, her personal life could be reasons for that one is that uh, she has been told so by her uh, other family member could be her mother in law could be her husband there could be her father in law could be her own uh, mother could be her friends that you don't taking good care of yourself that she has been told so that uh, is the case and uh, that's the kind of a guilt which she has that you know that i am not taking care of my Uh, personal life or my family life because I am working. However, once she has decided to work, or she has decided to go in her profession, I am assuming it has to be a decision, a family decision, which means it's also the family which has to support her in this decision. Which means the responsibility of the family should not fall entirely upon her. it should also fall on other members of the family which means if she has a husband on the husband if she has a grown up son or daughter on the them as well so the responsibilities have to be shared it cannot be that she takes the entire onus of running a family because a family is not just run by the mother or the wife it is run by the family so that is the first thing that could be one thing that's happening and then she has to make sure that that's taken care of and discuss this with her family that if really if you want me to work and be a professional and succeed in my professional life then i will request all of you to pitch in to support me in what i'm doing that's one and secondly is the habits you know we have certain habits um which means that when we come back from work we rather watch television than do some meditation or rather uh, or early in the morning you know rather check our whatsapp messages and facebook status as soon as we wake up rather than go and do some uh, yoga and uh, our traditional wisdom in india has has you know uh, such uh, examples that if we do our uh, uh, yoga the pranayama and the meditation regularly actually our productivity increases and we find time for ourselves as 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 well for the family and we are even more productive at work once we do this and we find time available to us from you know places we thought was not possible suddenly becomes available to us um if you see even the some of the greatest leaders of the world they have had a you know and they have probably a lot of pressure on their heads and they're busy all the time and they work so hard they have always found time for themselves first whether they say it's a regular physical regimen or some yoga or some you know thing that they are doing first find time and then rest actually follows so it's very important to first find time personally for yourself do something which will rejuvenate you and which will increase your productivity throughout the day and i would recommend yoga meditation and pranayama to be done